and welcome back to another video! Hello and welcome back to another video. We're, uh, I'm uh, back again with Max. Say hello, Max. Um, and uh, I'm doing uh, one of these where I where I try and predict what Pokemon from a generation gets into Sword and Shield. Um, and I brought Max here because there's no hiding it. I hate Generation Five, and 99% of the Pokemon in it Generation Five. So I before I bring Max in to help balance my hatred out a little bit. Anyway, uh, first Pokemon, Victini's going. That mid dex Weedo is going. Uh, again, I think all of the. Pardon? It's a mythical, it's probably not going to be there to start with. Yeah. Um, all, again, I think all the starters are going to be in, even if the, even if these starters are a bit meh. I mean, the only thing that really stands out to, in any of them is that Superior gets Contrary. And I, that's the only real thing that stands out to me. Um, Pat Rat and the, the Watchdog can go. Do you concur? Yes, those things are absolutely disgusting. I hate them. Yeah, Lily Pup can stay though. Lily Pup is adorable, and didn't like that. Wasn't there a plot point in like Generation Six, or was it Sun and Moon, where the, where there was this hairier? Oh yeah, it was. It was in Generation. It was in Sun and Moon, and it, there was this hairier t teaching this Litten. It dead. Yes, Stoutland. Yeah, sorry. I don't know why I said here yet. Anyway, Purloin and Lightpurd. Eh, they can go. I, I don't really see. I, I don't see any anything any role they could fill that any other cat cannot. Do you do you agree? Yeah. All of the pants and simmies can go back to hell where they belong. They're, they're, I like them, it's just I don't think. You like them, but you know they're not good. No, I like them, and I know I think they're pretty good. Yeah. It's just I don't think that makes sense in Britain anyway. Oh. Well, one of the status of monkey. Anyway. Um, Muna and Mush Mushama. I don't know much about these two. All I know is that they they're basically drowsies. They should be Unovan drowsies. Anyway, they can go. Because again, drowsies could do whatever they do. P Dove, Tranquil, and Unpheasant. They are, um, Pheasant has a gimmick that you forget about in five minutes and you don't typically see many doves so possible but unlikely being as they all can be filled by like Pidgey. Blitzel and Zeb Striker, you're probably not going to see many zebras in England unless you go to the zoo. Yeah. Rock and Roller, Boldor and Gigalith. I mean, we do have a few mountains. True. I don't know what, actually, I, I'm not sure whether or not Giggle has been confirmed or not. I think it might have been. I'm going to give them half. I'm going to cut off half of them, so they're possible, but we're not 100% sure on them. 50-50 chance for those, for those three. Yeah. Woobat and Swoobat. Again, their role can be filled by, by uh, something like Zubat. Drillbur and Excadrill. We do have moles here, like I'll go out into the countryside and there'll be mole hills. So, yeah, they can make it in. I don't know. I don't know. What do you think, Max? Maybe. It's, I mean, it's partially based on a rabbit, so... Yeah, but it's all could be filled by Chansey. True. Oh, and Gigalith Line has been confirmed. Oh. Oh, and do do by the way, so is Lipards. Ah. Uh, well. Uh, I'm not going to go all the way back to Lipard to undo that, but I have put Gigalith and um, Boldor back on there. That's full. Anyway, 
Um, I'm going to give Aldeno half, then 50-50 chance for Aldeno, because we do have rabbits, but it's roll cut, but it would be pretty much pointless if it does come in. Timber, Gerdor, and Conkeldor. I don't... They've been confirmed. Yes. With their freakish, cringe-worthy worthy veins. I don't mind them on Conkeldor. I don't like them on Conkeldor. It's on Timber because it's like a child. Yeah. Yeah, well, uh, uh, um, it reminds me of, um, that there's this, there was this bad British animated uh, comedy called Stressed Eric, and, um, the mysterious Mr. Enter did a review on it, and in this review, he, uh, he made a joke like saying, um, the vein on his head, the goal of the show was to get that vein to come alive as Jangle Eric. And it's just like, it reminds me of that vein, it look, it does look like it's about to just like come alive and strangle them. Um, Tiny Pole, Polly, uh, Palpitoad, and uh, Seismitoad. Also confirmed. Oh, they're confirmed, I was gonna say. I was going to put them in there anyway. I, I was going to say, I was going to give them a 50-50 shot because we do have frogs, but again, their role could be filled the better by like Politoad and Poliwaf and the, the, their lines and other frog lines. Throw and Sork, oh, add one of them confirmed, but the other one isn't. Sork's confirmed. Sork's confirmed. I do prefer Sork. So I'll give Throw a 50-50 chance, but... I don't see why it wouldn't be in there, considering Sork's there. Yeah, you'd think so, have them as exclusives, but... You can never predict Nintendo and Game Freak. They like, like... Remember when everybody was like, oh yeah, Z-Version's the next game. Nope, Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. I guess Throw is going to be in it, it just hasn't been shown in any kind of... Yeah. Feature. That's why I'm giving it a 50-50 shot. Um, Swaddle, Swadloon, and Lee Vanny. I'd like them to be there. But they're pretty much pointless. Like... Um, you, don't, you don't really have those kind of bugs over here. No. I can't really find a reason for them to be here, so bye-bye, guys. It's a shame, because I really like Lee Eh... Uh... uh now here's a line I like. Venipede, Whirlipede, and Scolipede purely because I love setting up and that um, Scolipede has speed boost as its hidden ability so speed and baton pass so yeah I like to do that with it and try and get speed on another thing which with no marsh I oh my god I'm gonna be so happy just like oh I'm gonna be making so many baton pass chains. Also, Gigamax Golapede, like, uh, it would be like one of those prehistoric ones. I can't remember the names, but back in prehistoric times, there were these, like, giant gig, like, Gigamax Golap, uh, Gigamax, um, Millipedes. Yeah. So that would be pretty cool. I mean, I do like them, but I, I do like Scolipede, but I've always just thought that they Yeah. Cottony and Whimsicott. I like the prankster ability and it is and they ha and they, they do make good use of it. And we do have wild cotton grow in here. Because um we have confirmation that they're in the game. Oh, we've had confirmation that they're in the game. Yes. Oh, okay. Um I don't see why Petal L -l -l and Lilligant will be in it. So they can go unless they uh, unless again they're doing the whole thing with like Fro and Sork with them being the version exclusives with Cottony and Whimsicott. But I hope they tone down on that as much as possible. Baskelin can go. Yeah, he's pretty uh, sometimes I forget it it exists and I hate it. I hate it, but it's sad for me to remember to hate it. Sandile, Crocorock, and Crocodile. We do have mini deserts, don't we? Yeah, I think like in the south, no, south east. I think in the south east, there's a mini desert. Well, the fact that Pokemon like Hippowdon has been confirmed for Storm Shield. Yeah. So it's in some kind of desert area. 
So I'm going to give them a 50-50 shot, possibly, but um, not guaranteed. Darul Maka and Darmanitan. Now, here, here's a funny thing. Our roles with my role of me hating Gen 5 and your role of you loving something from Gen 5 switches here because Darul Maka's hidden ability Zen mode, I love because it's creative, new and is actually um, unique and useful if you know how to use it right. You hate it. I think it's dumb. I hate, I just don't understand why. Why would it become something so stupid? It's, it's one of those like, I can't remember the name of it, but it's those dolls like, um, yeah, yeah, the little dolls. Yeah, and it, it and it, I, I do remember there was a um, fan Friday that um, basically got a sweep with Zen mode Darmanitan. So if you, if you know, yeah, if you no, it, it is the most unique, creative, and the, one of the most fun things. Ever. And that's something I never thought I would ever say about Generation 5. I just, I just don't like right, anything from Generation 5, like seriously. It is the best thing in Generation 5. No, it's one of stupid. It's the best. So that, that that's the only reason why I want it, is just because I want some Zen mode and Manitan fun. Maractus can go to hell though. Fuck! Uh, I don't care about the Rubble and Crustal, what do you think? Keep the Rubble and Crustal or go or send them to hell? Uh, keep them, I, like, I really like Crustal. Fine. Uh, Scrafty and... Scraggy and Scrafty. Now something we were talking about before we started recording was could these two get Galarian forms? Um. And instead of like being like hoodlums, they were like um, uh, trackies, I, I believe they're called. So basically, um, they get drunk, and I can't exactly like mimic how they talk, but I, I, when, growing up, I lived on the Grange Estate, and there was like people like these all the time. There's like, oh, you, what are you doing over there? And they're like drunk at all hours of the day. Mm. Yeah, so. I'm trying to. I think they may also. I'm not sure what kind of, like, other inspiration they take from because they're, they're going to need a type change because that yeah. isn't really that great. Yeah, oh, the theories. Exactly. I, w I would say they would could change into some kind of, like, aquatic creature and turn into, like, fighting dark and, and water dark, maybe? I don't think they'd become aquatic. I think they'd become, like, a, um... like. Mm. Um, I, I think, like I said, that if they would become like more chavy, uh, yeah, no, not chavy, right? It's, yeah, it's chavy. Yeah, chavy. They become more chavy, um, and I think a type that would suit chavs, like right? chavs, aren't like hoodlums, and they're not really that aggressive. They are more rude, and uh, um, it get it. They get in your face, but they're not likely to start a fight, so I could definitely see them losing the dark uh, fighting typing and retaining the dark typing, but I don't know what other typing they could gain. Like normal dark, maybe? No, I don't want another normal dark one though. We've already yeah. had two normal dark regional variants. We don't want another one. Yeah, um... Well, um... I would have said normal fighting more than anything. Yeah, but Chavs are still kind of dark because they are kind of like aggressive and in your face and quite rude. But they're not, like I said, they, they don't generally start fights too often. Unless like two Chavs encounter each other and then they both get into each other's face and then maybe two Chavs might start fighting. But a Chav isn't... That's why I said normal fighting instead of fighting normal. Okay, normal fighting. Yeah, normal fighting will do for them. So we're going to give them half one because they could make it in but as a Galarian form. Sigilift, I see no reason for Sigilift to be in the game, so Sigilift can go. It, it, Sigilift is quite um, is quite a good Pokemon, but I just see no reason for it to be in Galar. 
Oh, this is gonna hurt your mask and cough Regus. Oh, I. I love them though! They're okay. They, they, Koffer Grigas was my defensive core on my first ever Mono Ghost team. I know. I mean, I'm not saying it's a bad Pokemon. I just. It's just. It's not that great, and I don't like it that much. I, I, hold on. So that's two Pokemon, or like two aspects of Generation 5, where we switch roles. So I love Koffer Grigas, you don't really like Koffer Grigas. I, it hurts me, but I can't really see them being in Gala. No, Goodbye! Um, Tortuga, Caracosta, Archen, and Archeops. I see all of the fossils being in there because... The Natural History Museum in London! Exactly, because we're probably going to have another set of fossils this generation. Yeah, Trubbish and Ga Gabodor can go. Wrong, they're already confirmed. FACK! Zora and Zorak. Again, I don't think they'd be there. Well, we've just had them in. We've had them in black and white and black and white too. We've had them in Auras. We've had them in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. But here's the thing. How would you stop a Zorak from getting into Gala? Because it's Mark. Punch. <laughs> Mark yeah, but you wouldn't be, you'd just be going to use a Mark Punch in every Pokemon that wants to go into Gala. It's like Mark Punch, Mark Punch, Mark Punch, actually, I'm out of PP. <laughs> um, but yeah, I I think they could make it in there, like, um, have a deck energy saying, um, they are not native to Gala, but they managed to find their way in due to their illusion ability. Yeah. Mincino and Tin Sinchino. Confirmed. Confirmed? Yes. What are they even based on? Chinchillas. Where the fuck do you find chinchillas in England? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I just they confirmed. Really? I'm just going to send them to hell anyway. Fuck them. Chinchino's actually really good. Yeah, but it's very gimmicky. It relies on its ability. So does everything with skill links, though. True, but again, I when was the last time I used a skill link Pokemon? To be fair. Yeah. Um, Gofferita, Gofferita, and Goffertel. Uh, well, I know this is going to be cutting it a bit forward here, but the Solosis line has been confirmed, so I'm expecting the Gothitelle line to be there as well. Ah, shite. Uh, it's going to get version exclusive. Not, I don't really like Solosis and Duosian and Renucleus Ren that much. I mean, I like them. They're a cool concept. It's just they're not very useful. Yeah. Well, who knows, Gala, I mean, Ducklet and Swanner can go to hell. I, I don't care if they're confirmed, they're going to hell. They're not confirmed. Thank fuck. <laughs> they are <laughs> shit! They are premium grade A shit! I, I like them. I like them. I just don't like the The only thing that stops me from hating them more than the Pans and the Simmies is that you're not forced to use them. In Generation 5. Vanilla looks... Vanilla lights, vanillish, vanilla looks are confirmed, aren't they? Yes. I don't... Right, it's one of those... I don't really hate them, I just think they're shit. Well, competitively shit. I don't mind their designs. Although I think it's a bit stupid that... I, I do think the design is a bit stupid, but I, I don't really care that much. Yeah, uh, snow cloak is better. To be fair, unless you want to, to set up snow, it's only the fact that it's been banned that makes it not that good. Because Shmogun just didn't allow evasion, even though evasion has been nerfed to, into shit now. Exactly. 
Anyway, um, Deerling and Saw's book. We do have Deer, and it's one of the better Deer Pokemon. And if they can uh, uh, bring back its um, weather, its season changes, then that would be awesome. No, I think it might get a Galarian form. Maybe Galarian form. Hmm. Um, flying Pikachu can go to hell. Mimikyu's best Pikachu clone ever. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It may not have the same typing, but it's it is literally copying Pikachu. Doesn't count. It's not a Pikachu clone. It is. It is a Pikachu clone, and that's the end of that. Anyway, Caracosta and the Escavalier. Carablast, sorry. Why did I say Caracosta? They both with Cara. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking your five. But I don't think so. No. Fungus and the Moongus. Fungus and Moongus is going to be in there because they're Among Us, and they're literally in every game since Generation 5. And we have uh, um, mushrooms growing in forests here. Pain? In They're not in Alola. Not as far as I'm away, no. Oh yeah, because we had more oral. Yeah. Hmm. Every generation I didn't introduce a magic mushroom. <laughs> That's what my oral basically is. It's a magic mushroom mixed with an alien. Frillish and Jellicent can and uh, and the not love disc evolution can go because I just don't like them. Um, to be fair, to be honest, I just don't like any of them. And again, not love disc evolution. Why? Huh. Joltik and Galvantula. Confirmed. Confirmed? Yes. Okay. Um, what did you say about Frillish and Jellicent? Because they're confirmed. Fuck! I hate them. They're the, 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 not the Doritos, they're the um, Pringles guy in Pokemon. Jellicent is one of the really good ghost types that I actually do. I like. don't like it. And it's not that good. I mean, it was in Generation 5. Um, Jolt, uh, Ferro Seed and Ferro... Well, I've still sent them to hell anyway. Ferro Seed and Ferro Thorn. Also confirmed. Clink, Clank, Clink, Clang. Again, I think they're going to get Galarian forms. Eh. How would you make a Galarian gear? Um, by sharpening the points into, into knives and making them steel dark. That would be the most boring Galarian form ever. How? It's literally just the same design, but you're just replacing the flat edges with sharp edges. Well, obviously... Ah. I think, isn't it that whole thing that people keep on thinking there's going to be Galarian form because they saw like a clink badge or something? I think, I think we will find them in the steampunk area, but I don't think they'll be Galarian because there's not really much you can do with the idea of a Galarian, Galarian gear. I mean, maybe they could make Kling Clang good at all. It's de in desi design wise. Dynamo, Electric, and Electros can go to hell. Yeah, they can go. They're boring. Uh, as well as Eldihem and Behem. I mean, I'd like them to be in the lab, but I doubt they will. Apart from, um... Oh, what's that Pokemon that sounds like an evolution, but it's not an evolution? Finneon. Apart from Finneon and Luminion, uh, they're the most forgettable Pokemon. You say that, but people forget Miraxis for. Yeah. Liquic, Lampent, and Chandelure, I think, will be in it. 
Oh, they're confirmed. No. No, they're not confirmed. They're not confirmed, and I really hope they don't. I think they're going to be in it. Anyway. Well, they probably will be because gothic stuff. Yeah. Um, Axu, Fraxu, and Haxorus. I don't think they're going to be in it. They're already confirmed. Okay. I really don't care. Kupchu and Beartick shouldn't be in it, but we do have Icy Mountain, so they're possibly going to be in it, but I'm just going to get rid of them as long as, as well as Cryogonal, because I want them to be in it. Well, melt in hell. Screw you, Cryogonal's my favourite ice type. <laughs> I know. That's why I said it to hell. Gala. Shalmet and Excelgor. To hell with them. Yeah. Stunfisk is going to hell. I keep on forgetting that Magnifu and Machino are Gen 5 and not Gen 6. Yeah, I'm going to send them to hell anyway. I just don't like them. So Jizzy Gong can go to hell because it looks like it was drawn by a five year old with crayon. Golot and Golik can stay. Pornyard and Bishop can stay because. Um, Pain? and Golik are already confirmed. Yay! I love. Uh, I do quite like Golot and Golik. Pain? Fuck you. In Trick Room! Golurk can wreck houses. I guess room service would be useful on him. Yeah. Um, Boothalant can go to hell. No reason we need Boothalant. Yeah. Rufflet and Braviary and Vullaby and Mandibuzz. Rufflet and Braviary are confirmed. So I think Vullaby and Mandibuzz are going to be in it as well because they are... Again. Yeah, so, yeah, mm. and Dorant can go to hell. Yeah, they're boring. Don't like anyway. Dino, Zoralis, and Hydreigon. Confirmed. Confirmed, okay. Lavasta. Well, yeah. Lavasta and Vol Corona. No reason for being gathered. Apart from one reason. So I can make a My Corona joke. <laughs> uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give them a 50-50 shot because they are actually quite good and competitive. And Cobolion, Terrakion, Verizion, Tornadus, Thunderous, Reshiram, Zekrom, Landorus, Kyrim, Keldeo, Meloetta, Meloetta and Genesect can all go to hell. They can all go because there's no reason for them to be in the like whatsoever. Yeah. Unless they completely do a 180 and pull a Alright, so I'll just put all the Pokemon in again. Nah, they're not going to do that. I mean, they've done it twice now, so... Hmm. Well, we've actually cut a big chunk of the uh, uh, decks out. There's not many Gen 5 Pokemon confirmed, to be fair. Yeah, and the rest are shit. What did you say about Woobat and Swoobat? Oh, I sent them to hell. Oh, well, I can't bring them back from hell. The devil has already uh, got a torture um, routine set up for them. I mean, if you want to go to hell and try and get them back, you're, you're free to do so. I really don't care for them. Yeah, they, they were at. Weren't Swoobie and Woobie just before Rog and Roller? Yes. Yeah, they're, they're in hell. I don't know why I'm keeping up this hell joke. Anyway, um, we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Bye. If you liked this video, don't forget to hit that like button, comment down below what you thought of this video, and uh, if you want to see more of my stupid face, don't forget to hit that to subscribe and uh, the ring and ding uh, that uh, notification bell. Otherwise, YouTube won't uh, notify you of when I'm uploading videos for some unknown reason. And I'll see you guys in the next video.